Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here at Knoxville. Only the best go three of It is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at Eldora Speedway, it's showtime. You got the best, you got for a rip. Often imitated, never duplicated, the greatest show on dirt, the world. Time to sit back, relax, and enjoy because, ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Set to do battle for 30 laps. The green flag is waving. So, a riddle for you, Aaron. Oh, boy. Okay. If April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? Sprint cars. The pilgrims, but we'll be a bunch <laughs> of happy pilgrims if the April showers are gone now. Uh, yes, yes, very happy. Oh, my gosh. April. Goodbye, good riddance. Yeah. We're here. It's May 2nd. We're done with y'all's April showers, okay? Especially if we're at Williams Grove. Yeah. <laughs> or the Outlaws. Or the Outlaws. Or Knoxville. Or, or, or Attica. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. just it's a, just unreal. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, happy May, everybody. And uh, let's hope those April showers stay in April. This is Wing Nation, the podcast. Aaron Evernham and Steve Post. I- I'm... I'm Excited for our show here today. Me too. I'm excited. We have a really cool event coming up in uh, central Pennsylvania. And uh, we got our main man, Greg Hodnett, right here in the, the center. If you're watching this on video, we do, you know, I, I know most of you listen to this show. Yeah. We understand that. If you want to see what our set looks like or, or watch the show, you can go to wingnation.com or our YouTube channel, Facebook Live, and you can actually watch the show, and they're all on demand there as well. Uh, again, this doesn't work necessarily well if you're just listening to the show, but we've got a nice picture of Greg Hodnett right here between us because we're going to talk with Sherry. And uh, she got a big event coming up this uh, Sunday. So can't wait to talk to her about that and just see how she's doing. And uh, the racing world has certainly rallied around her and just see uh, how she's doing. And and may even talk to her about she has been on an adventure. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you what. She's been a whirlwind traveler, big time road trip. So uh, look forward to that. So we'll talk to Sherry Hodnett in just a little bit and set you up for some uh, some racing action here that we hope (laughs) – that we get in along the way. Before we get to all of that, though, uh, Lincoln Speedway on this past Saturday night, it was a couple of the young guns. It was Chase Dietz and Freddie Raymer going at it. You could have seen this or listened to it on Speed Shift TV. Wayne Harper, the track, uh, track announcer, ended up. Dietz got his fourth win of the uh, of his uh, career at Lincoln Speedway. But here it is now. It is our Dry Dean Diesel all deftifying move of the week. And now for the Dry Dean deftifying move of the week where one driver simply amazes us with their on-track moves. Key clean, here comes Raymer. Freddie Raymer looks to the inside. Chase Deep gets a good one up the side. Here comes Freddie, he'll pull the side. Deep returns the field and goes to the inside. In the turn number one, Chase Deep retakes the lead. That deaf-defying move was brought to you by Dry Dean Diesel All Deaf the official deaf of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. Visit drydean.com for more information. Instilled with Drydean's heritage of performance, Drydean Diesel All Deaf is built for the demands of today's diesel engines. Drydean Diesel All Deaf is perfect for owners and operators of on-road and off-road diesel trucks and cars that now require diesel exhaust fluid. Drydean. Official motor oil and official diesel exhaust fluid of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. And as always, American owned and operated. Visit drydean.com for more information. Are you a serious diecast collector? Do you have a favorite driver? Are you looking for a gift for a race fan? No matter what the question, the answer is always PlanBSales.com. Plan B has all the latest in diecast from Lionel and apparel, artwork, and other items for your favorite driver in NASCAR or other forms of racing. Go to PlanBSales.com. Key your driver's name in the search window and look at all the options. Your one stop for diecast and other motorsports collectibles is PlanBSales.com. Sage Fruit is a high-quality grower, packer, and shipper of Washington State apples, pears, and cherries. Sage Fruit believes in sprint car racing as a proud sponsor of sprint cars for the past 16 years and a partner of Wing Nation for the past four years. We love sprint car racing, and we're there for our sprint car fans. Sage Fruit works hard to deliver an exceptional eating experience. We value our relationship with sprint car fans and appreciate your continued support of Sage Fruit. Ask for Sage Fruit at your local grocer. 
This is the Wing Nation podcast. Back to Steve Post and Aaron Evernham. We are glad that you've joined us here on the Wing Nation podcast and uh, always have a great time catching up with some of our folks. And uh, we are so happy to uh, catch up with uh, this friend. Uh, she joins us from up in central Pennsylvania, gearing up for a big event this weekend, coming off from a massive road mm-hmm. trip. Sherry Hodnett's on the line. Hello, Sherry. Welcome into Wing Nation. Hi, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. You know, this is interesting because, Sherry, I don't think other than a Q&A session at Knoxville where you uh, threw some, some guy named Greg under the bus, I'm not sure we've welcomed you into Wing Nation, but I'm, I'm glad to chat with you. This is really neat. <laughs> well, I think, it's, I think it's pretty cool, too, and I'm glad that you guys uh, reached out to me. And, yeah, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm not, <laughs> not the one that usually does this stuff. It's usually Greg, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. We'll be fine. We will be fine. I, I just I, – I, a broad question just to, to, to establish – I, I, I can't imagine what you're going through. How are you doing? How are how are things going, Sherry, with you? Um, you know, they're they're going pretty well. I mm. mean, I, you know, I I have my days. Um, I I go to grief counseling, and that that seems to help a whole lot. We're working through some things, and um, you know, pretty much just try and take it one day at a time. And I really try and keep myself very busy. And I'm I'm really pretty busy with the the Greg Hodnett Foundation. I'm I'm really pretty, really pretty stoked about that. I think it's going to be a really good thing, and I've got a lot of good people behind me there and and helping. And so you know, I just I feel like the busier I stay, the better I am. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, every once in a while I sit around and cry, but you know, for the most part, it it. It's it's okay. It's as well as it can be expected. Well, Sherry, we are very glad to hear that you are, are doing well. Before we start talking a little bit about the foundation, tell us about this really cool road trip you just went on with your yeah. son. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll tell you that was that was that was really the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, so my son is in the Air Force, and he was being stationed from Alaska to Wyoming, and he decided actually. Uh, before Greg's accident that he wanted Greg would have probably been on that road trip with us Uh, he wanted to make the drive down the Alaskan highway and drive there and just see some sights along the way so uh, he said hey you know I might need somebody to do that with me and I said hey pick me that's that'll be really (laughs) cool so um, he did and it was just it was just him and I and so we started out in Anchorage on a Tuesday morning and it took us I think I had 16 days. I was gone 16 days altogether, but um, we we pretty much had it mapped out where we were going to stop, but we had no idea where we were going to sleep that night and how many nights we were going to be there. So basically on on the way, we would make a, a hotel reservation and uh, just hope that the little towns had someplace for us to stay. And then we would head to the next place and decide, okay, are we going to stay here for a day, two days, or are we going to just move on? So we we knew where we were going to stop and kind of what we were going to do, but we had no idea where we were going to stay and how many days we were going to stay there. All we knew is that we might reach Cheyenne, which is where he was going to be stationed. We might reach Cheyenne with three days to spare or enough time to get me to Denver to fly out. So <laughs> we just we had no idea. So we were just we were just flat out for you know basically really till we got started. It was probably 14 days. So I think we calculated we drove 4,100 miles altogether. Wow. That is so amazing. It, it, and it, I'll tell you, it was just, it was an amazing trip. We saw absolutely beautiful, beautiful things. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny. At the end of it, we both said, man, you know, the beginning of our trip seems so long ago, yet it went so fast, you know. So it was really nice to be able to just uh, spend some one-on-one time just he and I, we had a couple of really good laughs and saw some great things and, you know, just an opportunity that probably not a whole lot of people would really even get to do or why would you, you know what I mean? Like, why would you want to drive down the Alaskan Highway? You know, we, we would drive for hours and see not a, another car. <laughs> we would have absolutely no phone service. There was no place to use a restroom. So it was, I don't know how many times I peed on myself. Uh, I got to get, I got to get better at going to the bathroom outside. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it was just, it was awesome. I mean, it was just awesome. You, you can't even imagine that, you know, 
mm. that can be that that much space in between where, like I said, there's no no phone service, no place to eat, no restroom, no other cars. We would go for hours and not pass another car. It was crazy. That is amazing. Uh, Sherry had, had done this uh, and uh, following along, uh, we're, we're Facebook friends. The, the photos were spectacular mm-hmm. along the way. What really triggered this on it, and, and um, back uh, t- a year ago, two years ago it was, we're sitting here minding our own business, and on our MAV TV show we do our Tweet Your Seat. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, comes this tweet from Greg yeah. on a, standing on a glacier in a Motor Racing Network sweatshirt. And we actually have it right here on our set with us. And so when you end up in, in Alaska and your, your, one of your first pictures are, is there and everything like that, it just it was like, oh, my gosh. Uh, you know, there was just so many so much emotion and everything else. And it was just so sweet. And we just and, and I know, Sherry, somewhere along the way during the in the aftermath of Greg's passing, you had sent me a note and sent this down to us, and we cherish this. We love this. Mm-hmm. It's, one, it's probably our favorite tweet. Uh, it was probably our favorite tweet before September of last year, and then when we lost Greg, obviously it's uh, it's, it's got a whole new meaning for us because it was just so neat of him to tweet his seat from uh, from an, uh, from a glacier. But um, Oh, so, yeah, he was proud of that. Oh, well, we are too, and, it, and it's right here with us. So uh, it is it is neat. So you have made the decision, Sherry, to launch the Greg Hodnett Foundation uh, the foundation. Tell us a little bit about that and the and 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 the process and 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 where you're at and why that right now is 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 uh, is got your time and is occupying your time. Well, basically, the the reason that I started it obviously is because you know everybody knows that I mean a lot of these drivers don't have life insurance policies uh, that will meet their needs if something happens to them to support their family. Uh, so and and honestly, we didn't either. I mean. Who, who's again? Who's prepared for that? So, yeah. um, I have gotten so much support from the racing community, and really, what started the whole thing was when Mandy Pittman called me and said, "Hey, you know, uh, we would like to give you something from our benevolent fund because you know Greg at one point was a part of the Outlaws, and I had no idea that anything like that even existed. And I just thought that it was it was such a nice gesture, and it was such an awesome thing for them to have." the drivers and I thought you know we had nothing like that in place here and you know lucky for me Greg was such a well-known driver and so respected that everybody really helped me out but in talking with you know a few other of my my uh, friends that are wives of drivers they said you know we don't we don't know that we would have gotten that kind of outpouring of support and um, so I thought you know we need to have something like that in place here so you know, I think probably the best thing to do is start a, what we call a survivor benefit. So basically what we're going to start doing is having fundraisers and the, uh, this Sunday, May the 5th, we, that'll be our first kickoff for it. And we're just, we're going to have a cut a at my salon and we have a couple of girls in there cutting hair. We're going to have the driver's uh, some of the drivers go in and shampoo heads. That should be funny. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll have quite the mess when that's all said and done. But we're actually going to have Miss Motorsports, Miss Extravaganza, and uh, you know they'll shampoo heads as well. We're going to sell some walking tacos for Cinco de Mayo and um, have some baked goods and just you know just cut hair and raise money and uh, all of the proceeds will go to the Greg Hodman Foundation. So we just plan on keep doing fundraisers like that. Greg, we're having a memorial race for him at Port Royal July the 6th. And so I'm organizing a 5K run that morning, which I think will be a lot of fun. I hope everybody participates in that. But, uh, again, you know, all of the proceeds that come from that will go to the foundation. And we're just going to try and have as many fundraisers as we can and put as, as much money back as we can. And hopefully we never have to use it, Yes. but uh, at least it will be there. And so if anything like this, God forbid, should happen to another driver in our central Pennsylvania area, and that's in all classes, that's not just 410s Mm -hmm. or 358, that's in all of our classes here in central Pennsylvania, Um, you know, we have have money that we can give to their family, their wives, you know, to just try and help them just to supplement whatever – kind of life insurance policy they may have and you know that's that's my goal and I just 
felt like it was a way for me to a couple of different things, uh, mm-hmm. a way for me to give back in some way. I, I just cannot tell you what the outpouring of support from all of the fans and all of the drivers and, and everybody that, that gave donations. I cannot tell you how much that helped me. Uh, so just kind of a way to give back uh, is one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Uh, another reason is because I feel like something has to be done to make Greg's career not all have been for nothing. I I want I, I, I want his career to be remembered. You know, he worked hard at it. He you know he was very very well respected, and um, I just feel like you know. This will keep his. It'll keep his memory alive. Not that. Not that I need to do that because I'm sure it will. But it's just a really good thing, and I think if he was here, he would feel really good about that. And uh, hmm. and it keeps me busy. Besides that, so <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's kind of it's just a win-win all the way around. So it's just something that I feel like I need to do. I've never done anything like this before, so it's all very new to me. But I feel really good about it, and I'm just really hoping that this. This Sunday is a a huge success, and and we can get this thing rolling, and it it helps everybody in, you know, our racing community, because I I think it's really important. Well, I think it's an incredible thing that you're doing, and certainly uh, I'm sure Greg would be very proud of you, or is very proud of you, I should say. Uh, Sherry, uh, on a lighter note, can you please make some video of Lance yeah. and Lucas Wolf washing hair? Like, I got to see this. I, I, I'm i not sure if I went to your salon, I'd want them to wash my hair. I'm pretty sure I'd vote for you, but uh, that is such good stuff. Um, well, Lance is actually already getting lessons from his wife, Renee, who, who does hair. Okay. So he's already get, he's oh getting Oh, my. I still can't picture it. <laughs> So Lance, yeah, it should be a good time. That sounds really cool. Yeah, I, it's going to be fun, and and the five K sounds uh, sounds fantastic as well. I, I want to. I, I do want to say something while we while we have this. Um, and I know a lot of people that follow me personally. Uh, I've actually started a five K journey, and it started at Knoxville with a four ten run. And, and I want to encourage. There's going to be some great runners mm-hmm. participating in the Greg Hodnett Foundation five K, and there's going to be some slow walkers. I want to encourage the slow walkers. Mm -hmm. It's during Pennsylvania Speed Week, and if you're staying up there, you're camping up there, I know you can't run. You don't feel like you can run. Sign up and walk it. Take yep. a walk through the area. Uh, that's this this five k journey that I've been on has been incredible. And and I'm not even professing proclaiming you should go on a journey, but doing a five k walk uh, is really really pretty neat. And when you're doing it for a good cause, I would yep. strongly encourage people to do that along the way. So um, so there you have it. Well, Sherry, I, I am I am telling you, we're 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 so excited about what you have going on with the foundation. Is there anything we miss? here along the way or how do people if, if people can't come to the salon and can't come how how can people find out information about the greg hodnett foundation uh well we we actually do have a um well we started up a, a twitter page we have a facebook page okay, cool and uh you know there's what we've done is just kind of blended greg uh the greg hodnett motorsports right. page that he had his website uh attached to that is where they can find out more information right. about the Greg Hodnett Foundation. And we'll wind up being at the racetracks. We're having flyers made up that we'll start to give, you know, give out to people and so they can read about it. And um, so, yeah, yeah, we'll, we're, we're doing our best to try and get the word out. Well, that sounds fantastic. Sounds like a yes. fun event on Sunday and a great, great uh, project you have with the Greg Hodnett Foundation. That is a phenomenal. What she is really doing is is, uh, is absolutely amazing. And um, so, so if you're up in Pennsylvania and uh, they're racing at BAPS that night, so head on into York, yep. go to uh, Hodnett and Company, and uh, get your hair washed by Lance Deweese. I know Aaron, Lucas you, Wolf. One thing you won't have to worry about is Aaron won't be in line in front of you. So I mean, uh, you know, I'm a huge Lance fan. It's just the thought of. Him. So, yeah, sorry, Lance. But they have, uh, but they have trained <laughs> professionals when it comes to the cut. So Sherry has some of her girls lined up there. So uh, nice, nice stuff. That is for sure. And uh, we uh, we appreciate Sherry joining us here. And uh, you can follow along on their Facebook, their Twitter, and on Greg's uh, uh, Greg Hodnett. Uh, his his Google it, you'll find it. Yeah. So there you have it. Okay, fingers crossed on everything. World of Outlaws in West Memphis and Hobstadt. Um, big big weekend in Central Pennsylvania. Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour. 
the Battle of the Groves. Okay, we have Friday night Williams Grove, let's hope. Saturday night Sealands Grove, those are co-sanctioned races with URC. A lot of regional action stuff also with the with the ASCS. Gulf South and Lone Star Region, they're heart of Texas in Waco. On Friday, Sooner Region, Red Dirt Raceway in Meeker, Oklahoma. Sooner Region comes back on Saturday with the Warrior Reason, Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. So lots of racing regionally while the national tour is over in Pennsylvania. Uh, All-Stars are in Western, Western PA at Lernerville and Sharon. Big, big three-night weekend in Pennsylvania. BAPS has the uh, Kevin Gobrecht Classic on Sunday night. Silver Dollar Speedway out on the West Coast. Two big nights of racing, 410 Racing, the Bill Brownell Memorial, and on Saturday night, the Dave Bradway Memorial for the King of the West NARC Series. 4000 to win, but listen to this. $100 per lap to lead. Someone could cash in big there. $800 quick time, $800 hard charger. Kyle Larson's thrown $500 into the pot. Each heat winner gets a Hoosier tire and tear-offs. Uh, they got a big one scheduled yeah. out there at uh, Silver Dollar Speedway. So that is going to be fun. Uh, Attica, Fremont, fingers crossed again, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed again there. Now, we talked a little bit about this on Tuesday. We now, it's formally open, okay? Free tires. Yes, did that get your attention? Free tires, okay? Hercules Tires, one of our partners here, you know, the ride on your strength people, Greg Wilson sponsor, okay? They are giving away free tires. What you do is you go to www.herculestires.com slash MRN. That's HerculesTires.com slash MRN. Register. They're going to give away a free set of tires every month. How about Phew. that? So now we'll get one in May. And if you don't win, you do it in June and July and right down the old calendar there. So we're going to be slinging tires all over America. <laughs> we won't go to as many tire stores as Greg Wilson does, yeah. but we are going to sling some sets of tires out there along the way. So, um, yes, wing uh, the uh, tires are HerculesTires.com. Slash Wing Nation. Now, you can find out all the great racing action this week at wingnation.com where we have our broadcast calendar. So that gives you the link to all of the pay per view or listening options for all of the racing action this weekend. And finally, the HRP Racing upcoming shows coming up this Saturday on Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit on Mav TV. Donnie Schatz joins mm. us. How about that? Yeah. Donnie Schatz is in the house. You know it's going to be big when the champ is here. So Donnie Schatz joins us on Saturday morning on Mav TV. So uh, one more time, we appreciate Sherry Hodnett for joining us and sharing what's going on with her. More important, though, than all of that, thank you for joining us here today on Wing Nation. This has been the Wing Nation podcast. Find Wing Nation on wingnation.com, Facebook, YouTube, or your favorite podcast provider. The Wing Nation podcast is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.